All right, so we're going to be looking at data sources. Now, we did experience creating our own data source uh, in the Getting Started when we referenced an, an AWS VPC. And so data, uh, data sources are resources that already exist that you want to reference um, in your code. And so a good example would be using an AWS um, AMI, the Amazon Machine Image, to change what is being served. So if we were to go into our server here, it's using this particular AMI, but we could totally use a data source for that. And so anytime you're looking for something, you would just type in, uh, you know, AWS AMI data source, and you'll get some examples here. And notice that we have some interesting options like filter and stuff like that. These are not available to every single, um, uh, I might have actually have to update my lecture content because I might have highlighted this as a global feature, but I realized that this filter option here is actually reflecting what is in the AWS CLI. So I, I originally had thought that this was part of the language, but apparently it's just a reflection of this because if you look up something like an RDS instance, okay, and you say data source, and you go here, uh, this one doesn't have a filter option, or at least I don't think it does. I'm gonna type in filter. Right, or if we were to go over to Google, so we'd say like Google Compute, um, and we would say data source Terraform, maybe even a project, doesn't really matter. Notice it doesn't have a filter option. So I just wanna uh, clarify here that this filter option really is particular data bus because that's what their CLI supports and that's being reflected by uh, Terraform, okay? But um, let's say we want to uh, reference a different kind of instance. And so I was looking here, and this is kind of an example where they are, uh, they are selecting an Ubuntu instance. Um, and so that's something that we could do to uh, uh, select something there. Uh, notice that the owner is not ourselves here. So if you go over here, uh, notice we have self. And so this is an account ID for, uh, for AWS. And this is a particular version of, of Ubuntu. So if I go ahead and grab this here, uh, and what we'll do, whoops. The one thing I don't know is if this instance, like what um, what region it's in, because AWS, you have to launch your AMIs in the same region, but what we can do is paste this on in here and just notice that I'm just under the instance documentation here, okay? Uh, and so it's very important to get something that is, again, um, in the same region, but I. We're not specifying the AMI image, it's gonna filter and find it. So I think what it's gonna do is based on any region, it'll find it there, okay? So here I can just go data dot AWS AMI, and we can just choose the ID and that should work. Okay, so we'll just type in clear and we'll say Terraform plan. All right, so a data resource AWS AMI has not been declared in your module AWS server. Um, so let's just take a look here. It is defined right here. AWS AMI, maybe uh, we aren't giving it the right thing here. I'm looking for the thing that we can reference. So ID is set to the ID found in the AMI. In addition, the following attributes are expected, the ARN. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was the ID that we wanted. Okay, it says the data source AWS AMI ID has not been declared in the module.AWS server. Okay, I have not seen this error before because we're working in a sub module. It's not really any explanation. So when in doubt, what I'm gonna do is do a Terraform init and see if that resolves that issue. Okay, and we'll just try this again. And it still doesn't like it. Um, oh, I also have a name, so I guess I have to provide that as well. So that's probably my mistake right there. Okay. There we go. And so what I want to do is just scroll up and see if it selected an AMI from uh, AWS. So notice that it's pulling this one here and that's going to be for the relevant region. Uh, again, I don't want to provision this because um, I don't, <laughs> but um, you know, I just wanted to show you that 
that's how you use data source. And I really want to emphasize that this filter option that you see here is particularly to AWS and the options are going to vary based on how you can select stuff and not everything is available. You have to uh, Google each one and see what uh, resources you can pull in for data sources. Okay.